a popular format with um, camcorders now is AVCHD, and it's kind of like a budget P2 format. An example of a camera that records in this is the is this Panasonic. It takes very high quality video. People compare it to um, HDV footage, but they say it's better than HDV footage as far as quality is concerned. It records in 1080p, 24 frames a second, which is nice. There's all kinds of formats, a lot of settings, very nice camcorder. But AVCHD is not really the best format for editing. It's well compressed, so it has a very high quality but low file sizes. But when it comes to editing, it runs very slowly in programs that can edit it, like Premiere Pro, and it can't even be edited in programs like Final Cut. Normally, when you bring in footage, you use the log and transfer window, which brings up your clips, and you can transfer them, and it converts them into a ProRes or an intermediate Kodak that can be used, but certain AVCHD files can't be used in this log and transfer window, like the ones from this camera, like these MTS files, which are the ones from the camera. They can't be used. I've already got it's set up like this. There they are. No. Regardless of what I do, doesn't work. So I can't use this. Not gonna work. But I can use another program called Toast, which is a really nice program for doing this kind of work. So we open up Toast. I already have it set up to convert video files, which is good. Now I can take my files over here. So I got it right over here. And drag three of them in. You can drag as many as you want, which is good because if you have your 32 gig SD snapped in, you can just pop them in and then convert it onto your external or your RAID or your boot drive, whatever you want. So I have them there, just like that, that easy. I can preview them by clicking on them and dragging this around. Works quite nicely. Okay. So now, I want to convert them. I can go down here, click the big red button. It'll ask me how I want to convert these. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to change the quality, change the settings, and you're going to want to compress this as a ProRes file. Now, there are a few ProRes codecs, more than a few. We're just going to go with 422 because it's it looks pretty much the same as the other ones, but it's about half the size of the high quality one and half the size of the 444 so we'll click that everything else is good as it should be click OK audio's fine yeah looks up the bit rate 320 just to be safe then everything looks good hit OK I want this to go to my G raid Make a new folder. And call it uh, Pro Res AVCHD footage. Put it in there. Choose convert, and it will convert these files. And boom! I'm working on my laptop. Obviously, on a faster machine, this would take much less time. People um, say like, "Oh, I have to convert these files. This is it going to take too long?" Well, when you use HDV, you still have to capture it and convert it. And if you just um, convert off the card onto another drive, this doesn't really take any longer. I mean, it probably takes less time than transferring and encoding HDV footage. So, I mean, the amount of footage that I have here is about 30 seconds worth-ish. Yeah, about 30 seconds worth of footage that I'm converting. And it's taking about, say, a minute. Yeah, about a minute. So it takes about double the amount of time. I'm working, this is my dual-core MacBook Pro. So, nothing too muscular. I mean, if you had your 8-core uh, your machine, it'd be better. So, 92. And already you can go in ProRes, ABCHD, footage. And, I mean... <coughs> Nice ping sound, tell me that it's done. I can quit this. There I have my ProRes files. As you can see, they're much bigger than the ABCHD, but that 
it actually makes it a lot easier to work with because they um, each frame is independent, so you can jump around much more easily. Drop back over here, and I can pretty much just go to File, Import. Oops, I have a sequence selected. File, Import to Folder, ProRes AP. Boom. There's the bin. There's your footage. You can drag it in. Boom. Just hit yes. And then there it is. It wants me to render the audio. It's an issue I've been having. So I can just render that. It doesn't take a very long time. It's Command R. Boom. And there we have that. I can jump around pretty easily. Put in out points. Oops. Works just fine. And I mean, there you go. That's how you convert them to ProRes, and you can pretty much use any any AVCHD footage, and it doesn't take that long, especially when you compare it to DV or HDV. When you're converting your video, it takes plenty of time. When you're picking a camera, I would go with the tapeless system because when you have tapes. You have tapes. I hate tapes. They suck so fucking much. So, if you want to go digital, you don't want to spend six, seven grand on a P2 camera, then you're definitely better off with a AVCHD. This one's really nice. I've done the research on it. A lot of all the reviews are pretty positive. People like it. You get a free SD card when you buy them. Buy one, and the SD cards are pretty expensive, so that's a good deal when you buy from BNH, my local camera store. So, that's it. That's how you work in ProRes using Final Cut Pro 7, but this will work in probably every version 5 and 6 will definitely work. So, there you go. Goodbye.